I think we all get touched by, by compassion fatigue and suicide at some point. And unfor it's unfortunate that if we haven't yet, at some point we will. I always thought I was going to be one of those that, that didn't. Um, nine years into my career and one of my classmates decides to take her own life. It's a scary thing, but it's, it's real. I've experienced it. I thought about suicide every single day in the darkest parts of my depression. And um, without support of my family, I, 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 might have, I might have taken action. Probably the scariest things about the statistics that, that one in 10 veterinarians have suffered from significant psychological distress and one in six have had suicidal ideation. It means that all of us have somebody who's next to us, who's worked with us, that, that is in that category and sometimes you don't know. And that's almost worse because it, 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 you're, not, you're not in a little bubble that doesn't affect you. So Mars Veterinary Health has created a suicide prevention training that's specific for veterinary medicine and it's called ASK. ASK stands for Assess, Support and Know. But ASK is very specific and very, very welcoming and supportive and it makes everyone understand that we are in it together and it's not just one person's problem that they need to go seek, seek help with. We have the responsibility to, to help our associates and help everyone know that you go ask. We're here to help you and remove the stigma. Everyone in our profession needs to know what resources exist for support. You never know when it might occur and these tools could truly save a life. We all must link arms and get equipped to help one another out so that this issue can be part of our history and not part of the future of the veterinary profession.